So our second race from Newbury and race two and our second race of the day is at the Mandarin Handicap Chase at a three mile two furlongs. We've got Alpicat Cap for Darren Thompson, the top weight, the three to one favourite. Then we've got Belga here at Jude for James Shea, Sharm at Al Phantom for Thomas Rogers, Bomb Pegasus for Paul Rhodes, No More Prisoners also for Paul Rhodes, Dobretz for Daniel French, Latin Lover for Kevin Meenahan, Extra Hub Special for James Shea, Great White Hope for Joshua Sutherland, Curse for John Morgan, Silver Bullet for Alex Cherry, Deep Reflection for Thomas Rogers, Seaview Premium for Paul O'Neill, Dame Mill for Craig Beckwith, White Run for Martin Leadham, Amelia Farley for Punchable Racing, Lady Mike for Axe Cherry, Pink Champagne for Derek Hinton, and Changing Stripes for Ryan Costello. 19 of them. The flag's been dropped and they're away. And there's three miles and two furlongs. Challenging for the Mandarin handicap chase. They get to the first of the ditches. Oh, we've lost we've lost two. Egg Tribe Special's gone and White Run. So unlucky there to James Shea and Martin Leadham. They've both fallen at the first of the 20 fences. Oh, we're two down already. We're going to get to the second, which is a plain one. Yeah, we'll get over it this time. And, uh, we have a reluctant leader in Belga here at Jude, although Dobrette's middle of the course is pushing through. Pushing even better through now is Silver Bullet. As they get to the third, another plain one, and they will successfully negotiate it. And it's just Dobrette that leads the centre of the course from Silver Bullet alongside. And towards the fence here, we've got Alpicat Cat and Belga here at Jude. Big long line of them here as they get to the next. We'll get over that as well. A real poor jump out wide by Latin Lover. He's the widest and furthest away from us here. All sort of saying centre court of the course here. The ground conditions uh, don't really warrant this. But they're, they're certainly racing away from the row. But we're going to be led by Silver Bullet. And Dobrette's just on his tail. About a length and a half away from the grave on Pegasus. Right in the middle of the chasing group. Wider of that is Kersal in the blue silk yellow cap. John Morgan will be looking for that one to stay on its feet. Wider still of those, I think, is no more prisoners. If they get to the fifth, the leaders are over it. Neither of everybody else, but a bit of poor jumping. The one that jumped it worst of all was Seaview Premium. He shuffles right back towards the rear. The grey at the back here that we can see is Lady Monarch, closest to us. And just in front of that is Alpi Cat and Belga here at Jude. But it's Silver Bullet that leads them away. They're all still racing centre of the course here. And it's still Silver Bullet from Dobretz and from Pegasus, Alpicat and Kersal. We get to the six, another plain one. And we'll get over that. Still poor jump to the rear by Seaview Premium. It's a pretty tight chasing pack from Silver Bullet. It's another ditch. Oh, we've lost another. We lost two. Another two have gone. Latin Lover and Dane Mill have gone this time. I get the connections there, Kevin Meenahan and uh, Dane Mill. I'm not too sure. I think that might be Craig Beckwith's horse. Unlucky. There's another two down. They certainly don't like the. Uh... Oh, and again. Get to a plain one, and this time it's Alpi Cat and Aaron Thompson that goes. So it's carnage here at Newbury. All stores have stayed centre course, and it certainly hasn't improved any of their jumping as they get to a plain one. And they all get over it this time. So, still out in the lead is Silver Bullet. Come alongside the grandstand. We'll have another circuit to go. And they'll have to jump those uh, ditches again. Everyone will be trying to stay on their feet. The silver Bullet takes them over the water. They're getting close to it. There he goes. Aerial shot. They run away from us. Obviously, Newbury's not a massively wide course. Some of them might tack over towards the fence now, as they do. As we lead off out, it's Silver Bullet that leads us, although uh, Jockey hurrying them along a little bit to maintain the lead. They drop downhill here from Belga here, Jude in second. Operates out wide is third, and a grave on Pegasus. Coming back towards the fence, no more prisoners. Deep reflection, Lady Monarch, the other grey. Grey wide is still his great white hope for Josh Sutherland. On the inside of that is the green silks of, I think that's Charmadel Phantom. And then we've got uh, Amelia Farley. Pushing through there is Kersal still. Dropping back towards the rear, Seaview Premium, Pink Champagne, and Changing Strings. So as they get to the ditch again, the 12th, and he will get over it this time. No mayhem to be had, but it is Silver Bullet. These leads down to just about two or three now from Belgi Howard Jude, is very reluctant to go on. Then we've got Deep Reflection, Kersal on the outside of those. We'll jump the 13th, everybody's over it, not unlucky. The one who didn't take it at all well was Dobrett, and he shuffled right back towards the rear of the pack. So it's a pretty topsy-turvy race. 
to come down to the next and it's silver bullet that leads them over it gets over it well but slow and allow Kersal to jump alongside in between those is deep reflection and Belga here Jude Lady Mark up against the fence and really got nowhere to go I'm not sure if uh, the course has changed here because why isn't he moving on the inside it's like the rouse uh, become too close in the kit here I might be wrong but it's Kersal that's taken up the lead now from deep reflection the silver bullet just drops back a little bit Belga here at Jew the other grey lady monarch out wide is Dob Brett's great white hope Amelia finally towards the fence here and side of that is no more prisoners and the green silks of uh, there's one Pegasus and Charmadale Phantom trying to make a bit of ground up now is the pink silks of pink champagne but it's Kersal that just leads us just by a length, I suppose, a, no a nose, a head maybe, should I say, from deep reflection of Belg here Jude, the Grey Lady Monarch. There your first four. As we come down to the 16th, here's a plain one. We're inside, finally inside the final six furlongs. Kersal didn't take that particularly well and shuffles back. There's deep reflection, Lady Monarch and Belga here Jude, and then Purcell in between trying to push through Dobretz again. Charmadel Phantom moving out wide is a great white hope now, looking up for some rooms. They swing left handed towards the finishing straight. With just half a mile left to travel, it's still a great line of horses. Kersal, Great White Hope moving well on the outside, takes that fence really well, gets over it fast and takes a length advantage out of the pack. But it's Great White Hope from Kersal on the inside. Amelia Farley running on our deep reflection. Dobretz, they're all off the bridle and pushing along. They get to this ditch. Everybody's over it. And it is Great White Hope that still leads by about a length, but being run down now by Dobretz, Amelia Farley and Kersal as they come to the penultimate. It's Great White Hope from Dobretz, Kersal, Amelia Farley get over this one they do oh the leader went straight through it and this allowed Dobretz to jump up we also lost Lady Monarch there but it is Dobretz that's now got a length advantage from Kersal and Great White Hope Melia Farley Belga here at Jude they get to the last the leaders over at Kersal took it slow but it is Dobretz this could be a win of Daniel French as they come inside the final furlong it's Dobretz by about four from Kersal Great White Hope Amelia Farley out wide is Belga here at Jude trying to run on but it's going to be a win for Dobretz here Dobretz is going to Take the ting tong ting tong men doing handy keep chase. Takes it for Daniel French from Kersal running on well for second there. The least he, st he stayed on his feet for you, John. Wasn't one of your fallers. Uh, good win there for Dobretz. Interesting race that. They all kept away from the route. And the win means by about three to four. Was seven to two. So uh, probably second favourite. Kersal was second for John Morgan, well done. Third was Great White Hope for Joshua Sutherland. Fourth was Amelia Farley for Pontypool Racing. And fifth was Belga, Belga Hero Jude for James Shea.